Hey guys, welcome to the stream. I just hope everyone's doing well today. This should be the final episode, I think, of this campaign. We've made all of our plays, it's just a matter of can we manage to win the against the dwarfs without uh, suffering any defeats. I'm going to start with... This will be an order resolve. Yeah. Get rid of that. The Emperor claims this place. So, how many settlements remain? Um, there are 18 settlements left to take. Maybe we should um, put that down. Instead of factions remaining, we should say settlements left. And then make it 18. And so that'll be a bit of a countdown there. That's a bit squashed. It's bad a bit. Alright, cool. Alright, let's do something that we'll have to fight manually for sure. Yeah, yeah, I figured as much. Don't imagine this is going to be a problem. But let's just, just got to get in and get it done. What if this only takes like two hours? Uh, I don't see that happening. I don't see it taking... Hang on, this is a bit... Um, I don't see this happening in two hours because we have to fight most of these battles manually and there's a lot of dwarf armies in one area. The elves are still around? Yeah, but we... They're, they're finished. They're finished. They're effectively finished. They're under siege. We use them to bait a bunch of dwarf armies together. Which didn't work as well as I had hoped, but it did kind of work. Maybe in the, the hindsight didn't need to do it. Okay, now... Yeah, we just... Easy battle. Not that many we have to deal with. Loads of artillery. Just uh, get on, get the job done. It means you're going to finish the campaign today? Today will be the end of the campaign. Yep, today's the end. This is the end game. The real challenge is not accidentally hitting the auto-resolve button. You'd be surprised if that ever happens. That's that accidentally hitting the auto-resolve button has a very high chance of causing a game crash. Did you know that? <laughs> yeah. Oh, hang on. yeah, so it's a well-known bug that sometimes when you auto-resolve when you didn't mean to, it actually there's a really high chance, like 99% chance that it'll actually crash your game. Don't have to be super efficient. We just need to make sure we're not really inefficient. What's the next undefeated campaign? Don't know. D these undefeated campaigns are usually best as um, just being a normal campaign to begin with. It just so happens to go like, I don't know, 50 turns without a defeat, and then we make an undefeated campaign. Um, otherwise, it's, um, it's not, it usually doesn't do that well. Also, you're far more likely to suffer a defeat, like a silly defeat in the early game, than you are in the late game. Doesn't mean you can't do it, but you're just more likely.
Would Scar Snake be more playable with his new star position? I don't know. Uh, Regnia575 did a $5 super chat. F sorry, five pounds. Hang on. Stop this. Uh, this has been a great campaign. Love the Empire and their battle music. Really enjoy the undefeated challenges. All right, thanks, dude. Thanks, appreciate the super chat. Yeah, we can't do them every single time, but we'll do them, you know, once every six months, I guess. Yeah, it's been a good campaign. I've enjoyed it. But one way or another, we're either going to suffer a defeat today, or we're going to wipe out all of our enemies. One, one of the two is going to happen. And, uh, n no, like, silly game crashes, okay? It's, uh, it's do or die time. It's the end game. Okay, so the main thing with the mortars here was to take out the units that the crossbows would struggle with, namely, like, guns and quarrelers. Everything else should be pretty easy to deal with. And if we have a look at the kills, yeah, that's acceptable. Okay, quarreler time. Should be fine. Okay. I know we're dealing with iron breakers, but you know, we can use two units of ammunition to take out one of them. Might have been good to get guns. Any plans to come back to Wormer 3? Not for the Realm of Chaos, but for Immortal Empires, yes. I don't I don't ever intend to cover Realm of Chaos again. Doesn't mean I won't. Uh, let, me, let me reiterate that. I have no intention to do the race for the Realm of Chaos again. Um, but I might do, like, the Warriors of Chaos race to Zambaijin. We'll see how that one goes. Let's have to try to make sure we're not hitting... Stupid, unobstructed garbage. Unobstructed garbage, I mean. Can also send our, um... Okay, we're getting victories in our grasp. That's a good sign. Have you ever done Throt campaign in Vortex on stream? It's really good. I have done that on stream, yes. That was um, in early access. And that was the one where we actually had the uh, the Throt voice actor um, guest for like a few minutes in that, uh, in that particular stream. There we go. How many stages does a sort of cane has? I picked it up by accident. Three. It's got three. Is it a hot button issue? But how's the state of Warhammer 3 now? Uh, Realm of Chaos is trash. People have given up on the Realm of Chaos for the most part. Um, Immortal Empires. You just have to wait and see. Immortal Empires. Yeah. No. Hot seat mode when? Never. Okay, that means we are down to 17 remaining. Alright, let's do... What should be the last battle of... I reckon we'll do this here last. This is what we'll, we'll save for absolute last. Alright, I got another battle over here to do a Vulture Hell Mountain. Um, same sort of army, up against same sort of army. You know. What are you going to do? At least you managed to save the easiest race until last. If it was Skaven this late, it'd be way more annoying. Oh, yeah, for sure. No, 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 no. Yeah. The dwarves are, yeah, pretty easy to fight on the battlefield. Fairly easy. You still need to have 
I think the thing about dwarves is that they're predictable, and predictability is relatively easy to deal with. But, you know, every now and again they can surprise you. Yeah, we're only bringing low tier armies for the most part to go deal with this stuff. Ah, oh, great. Got gate bugged. Luckily, mortars are good at dealing with gate bug. Yeah, see. Okay. Still, most of the shots are hitting. Yeah, we got the gate bugged out. Because, yeah, anywhere along here is um, acceptable to hit and still damage the towers. Deja vu is the exact same map that we just fought in. Okay. Might also be a good idea to actually use this. To get some damage in. Careful, careful, careful. As long as he's not getting shot, it's fine. Because, yeah, it was a little bit of a close call in that previous battle. Just a little bit. Like, we were running pretty low on ammo. Shit. <laughs> Oh, it's not identical. It's just... no, it's not identical map. Yeah, bringing him up here actually wasn't worth it yet, because I only got one shot of that in. Then they opened the bloody gate. Come back. Just what isn't worth it right now. I'll do it later if we need to. Be careful, I have used up a lot of ammo already. Really important to get rid of these damn quarrelers. And gun units. Try to dodge some of our units. But I just got to get some damage in with these artillery. Yeah, a lot of these shots are hitting pretty well. Mm, I feel like I'm not doing as well as the previous battle, and the previous battle was actually kind of close. Got the exact same army. Still got a fair bit of ammo though, but I'm just not super happy with the amount of damage that's been done so far. Use models one by one? Nah, they'll just take too long. We'll be here all take fucking eight hours to get through all this then. We'll be fine. We don't need to be 100% efficient. But we've killed off about half of the army just with the mortars. So we're okay. 
Thing is, if there's only a handful of them left, you can just rush the town square with the um, with the quarrelers. If as long as there's not much left, which it doesn't look like there's going to be. Okay, might be a good idea now to just cease fire for a little bit. Just to preserve their bounce of power, and let's bring these guys up. There's there's not much here to deal with. Alright. Those missile units there. There's only a handful of them, but we need to prioritize them first. Problem is they're obstructed because of the uh, destroyed tower there. Oh yeah, there we go. Got him. Not doing any damage? No, well look, it's not firing at me. There's no sense in wasting ammo on like essentially a defeated unit. Good. Yeah, see these, you use the mortars to just thin them out, to just do mass amounts of damage. And then the quarrelers, oh, sorry quarrelers, the crossbowmen are just more precision. Even though they don't do as much damage, it's just about precision killing. it. Barely have any of them left. Let's try to hit this one over here. There is a unit over here. Yeah, it just looks like one. They might bring it up. Or they might not. Then there's that Thane, which we shouldn't need to worry about. Good. Ah, oh, there we go. Good. That actually went better than the previous battle. We had more ammo left over. Hmm, I thought it was doing worse. Look at that. We army lost it, but it hasn't routed yet. Just needs a little bit of... There we go. George Orwell did a $10 super chat. Uh, legend, mate. Thanks for the campaign and seeing it to the end. You're champion. Alright, thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Just kill a lord to route them? No, that's not a lord. It's a thane. It doesn't... It won't route them. Alright, cool. Another one bites the dust. And that leads... Us with 16 to go. Okay. Still gotta clean this up over here. That army's been blocked, hasn't it? Yeah, okay, don't worry about that. Karak Aura needs to be done. Karak Zora needs to be done. That one should be way easier than the previous one because they didn't have the Thane building there. Yeah, they don't have as many uh, Iron Breakers and Hammerers. This should actually be a lot easier, but still has to be order resolved. Sorry, uh, manually resolved. How close are you to 436k subs? Uh, um, should I tell you? Pretty close. I'll tell you. You guys gotta stop asking, but 
we're at 435,691. So we need another 309, essentially. So you guys have about a week to do that. Which, it seems likely we're going to be doing it. It seems pretty likely now. You know, short of, you know, YouTube deleting, like, a thousand subs. Seems quite likely. Get him in there. Oh, shit, he's not on horseback. Actually, that doesn't really matter, does it? At least there's no gate bug. Yeah, we, we should just be able to indiscriminately bomb and not worry about it. Just make sure we take out the two towers there first. Did you already choose your first Immortal Empires campaign? No. Oh, nice. That's set going really well there. Let's reckon them. That's it. Keep putting more units up on the wall. <laughs> Very nice. Sir, they keep bombing the same spot. Well, keep putting more people there. Don't you know how important that destroyed gate is? That gate is worth more than our lives, damn you. Preserve some bounce of power. Oh, doesn't matter. They've finished the entire battle. I knew that one would be easy. Will you watch the Let's Play today? Oh, fuck no. Their Let's Plays are boring. They're just trailers. Are you talking about the Village Let's Play? Nah. What for? <laughs> I, I don't enjoy Creative Assembly's Let's Plays. They're just trailers. Hmm. Let's show people how we play the game without actually showing them how we play the game. It's just a trailer. And then there was 15. Alright, so that's Karak Zoran sorted. Praise be to Sigma. Karak Orod does have the Thane building. Because, yeah, that provides two hammers and two iron breakers. So I... The uh, dwarves are really good at defending their territory with that kind of stuff when they get to tier 4. Oh, and it's got an engineer in there. And we don't have as much experience. Got a potion of healing on him. You know what? Let's just leave it under siege. This guy will come over here and provide some additional support. I could probably win that, but I'd probably have to, like... Oh, yeah, 17 here. Oh, but I got a wizard. Right, 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 right. There, that's different. Um, did I... Oh, I didn't give him any equipment. How much magic we got? Okay, that's, that should be fine. Ah. This wizard makes a huge amount of difference. What's your favorite Vortex campaign? I'd have to say Throt's campaign is my favorite. It's a, it's a really well-designed campaign. Away 
Awaiting orders! Spot out the target! Really, really well designed. Really good narrative. Quite enjoyed it. Yes, my lord! At speed! Ah, shit. Gate bugged. Let's start with this one here. Uh, underrated Entertainment did a $10 super chat. How long do you expect to play this campaign? I love you coming to the meme. It's not really a meme, but a um, few hours. We should be done. Thanks, super chat. Appreciate it. So we got artillery bug, not gate bugged. Oh shit, that guy doesn't even have uh Oh I guess it doesn't matter. Alright, that was a bit annoying with the towers. That uh, that cost us a bit. But this is where the wizard really comes in handy. I'm glad I put the wizard here. Because this is where we can get a lot of like free bounce power. Mr. Laska Blask. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Did a 250 SEK super Hey, Legend, just wanted to say hi. I hope you're doing well. Awesome campaign, by the way. Alright, thanks, dude. Appreciate the support. Um, glad you liked the campaign. No, that didn't go where I wanted it to. Yeah, we got plenty of wins. He said did, as in did you think you'd go this long with the campaign? Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, sorry. Um, <laughs> I just didn't, I didn't read it correctly because I'm trying to actually get these battles done quickly. Um, I didn't have any expectations beyond getting the elect accounts finished. Um, elect, done. Yeah, I, I didn't, I don't expect anything out of these campaigns sometimes, so everything was a, was a pleasant surprise. Burning head down the line. No, they're armored. It, it, it wasn't doing very well. Well, I guess we got enough wins of magic. I can show you how much damage it does. So, eh, did like a thousand. But yeah, it's not good against armor. Where this one here rips armor to shreds. For just two extra wins of magic, we can potentially get thousands. Yeah, look how much more damage that did. Of course, that was a pretty good burning head. Do you think this campaign will end today? Yes, I do think it'll come to an end today. Ah, oh, damn, we're not that that way. Yeah, short of some sort of catastrophe. <laughs> Or a battle taking way longer than expected. I think today is where it ends. One way or another, we will either conquer the dwarfs or we'll suffer a defeat. Either way, it ends today. Good, burn them slayers. Um. Okay. 
Okay. Well, that's used up a bit of magic. Let's let it recharge a bit now. Now, primarily want to be aiming for the missile units. Here. Yeah. May need to waste the ammunition of the uh, organ gun, because that'll be worth a ton of balance of power. But we don't have to do that right now. Since we lost a few mortars, we've got to be careful, because that would have reduced our ammo. One dude left. Cool. I know this place is bound the gate. Uh, you've just got sort of like the most likelihood of hitting something when you put it under gate because it bounces, bounces. It'll hit the guys at the gate and then bounce out this way. If I put it here, for example, it's going to burn these guys. See? It's just that's the most likely place it's going to do some damage. Could you not get a mortar closer to the organ guns as it would have better firing angle? Uh, only if I got rid of everything off the wall. Organ guns use up their ammo pretty quick. It'd be pretty easy to, to waste it with this. It's just easier. I went the wrong way there. Alright, let's bomb this some more. Plus, he's also got a health potion. Could have sworn he had a health potion. Or well, maybe it was that other battle at Karakorod. Yeah, I think I'm getting my wires crossed. This is going very well so far, apart from the initial uh, tower problem. So far, so good. Yep, keep bringing more dudes over here. Good. What's the worst spell in the game? Uh, oh man, that's really hard to determine because there's no magic in the game that's totally useless. Because if a spell is weak, it's usually cheap. And if a spell is good, it's usually expensive. So, I don't know. Give me some examples of what you think is the worst spell of the game. And I'll either agree or not agree. Because, like, every single spell has its use. It's just a matter of whether or not you value it or not. Wouldn't be the bombardment spell be faster than for the organ guns? No, we tried doing that. It takes ages to kill them with that. No, nah, it'd, it'd be quicker just to waste its ammo. We did that in a different battle. It was a fucking waste of time. If you're playing on small unit scale, that's good, because you only need to destroy one uh, organ gun, but we got to destroy four. Uh, Tatastrophe did a $50 super chat. Thanks, Legend. Learned a lot about this game from watching you play. You've shown me the depth of it. No, it's a really generous super chat. Appreciate it. Um, Chinese name. I can't read it. Sorry. Became a new member, but appreciate you, dude. Thank you for the membership. Flinching Ruin. Flensing Ruin. Um, like, that's a bad spell. I don't know if it's the worst spell in the game. Lord of the Deeps. He was asking for worst spell. Lord of the Deeps is actually pretty good. Spirit Leech. Spirit Leech is a shit spell, but there, it has its use. You know? Skull Storm. No, it's alright, that spell. It's not, not good, but it's cheap. Like I said. Any spell that's weak is usually cheap, and it's like one of the cheapest Vortex spells in the game. What, nine wins of magic? Fader Bajuna? Fader Bajuna is shit for sure, it's super stupidly expensive, but cast on cavalry, it can do a ton of damage. Okay, we have enough for one of these. Come on, bounce, bounce, bounce like them titties. <laughs> oh, damn! I wasn't expecting that. 
<laughs> I guess I got the bounce I needed. Tempest or Searing Doom? If not, I got Searing Doom's still good. Tempest, Tempest is good. You just need. It's just very rare that you actually get a good use of it. Just don't cast it if you know. Arcane Unforging. Ugh. That's, that, that, it is not that bad. Curse of the Years is actually good. Eshin Teleport Spell. Oh, Skitter Leap. Yeah, that's pretty crappy, actually. Yeah, Skitter Leap's fucking rubbish. Yeah, you could be right. Skitter Leap is fucking trash. Aspect of the Dreadnought has its uses. Alright, we are down to 14. Okay. True servant of Sigma. And that guy goes to Sigma that region. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. So, let's do Karazza Karak now. Do a bit more of a difficult battle. Arch Awaiting order. Light of Battle? Light of Battle is trash. Actually, you could be right. Light of Battle might be the worst spell in the game. It is complete trash. Big legend, it makes the unit unbreakable. Being unbreakable in this game is not valuable. Oh, wow, we can auto-resolve it. But should we? Because here's the thing. Elden this Hammer. army... Not this one. This one here, Protector. right after defeating that, needs to come over here and defeat this. And if it's super badly damaged, I'll have... No, we, we should fight this manually. I did say medium casualties. Risk it for the biscuit. For the Emperor. No, we shouldn't risk that. We should fight this manually. Just because there's another battle we gotta do. I wasn't expecting an auto resolve win, and there's this is so cheesable. Don't be lazy. Yeah, this is not a this is it's too risky. If there wasn't another army to take out, I'd be lazy, but there is. Does Light of Battle stop skeletons from crumbling as Tomb Kings? Yes, it does, but here's the thing. Um, if something is already breaking it, or crumbling, and if you put Light of Battle on, or if, if something is routing and you put Light of Battle on, it will not rally until after the spell is over. It's really, really bad. Okay, so you have to cast it right before a unit routes. Once the unit is routed, you pop that down, it will not work. It is a fucking garbage spell. Absolute garbage. It doesn't even last that long either. Uh, just hang on, hang on, boys, get over here. So we'll see if we can get this done with pretty much just the mortars. Uh, I'll, you know, use some magic. This one here. Oh, this one's got the health potion. Alright, I'm gonna... Okay. We'll do a few... Do a few flame storms, but not too many. Let the artillery start using up its ammo. And then I'll just tell the mortars to fire at will and just bomb the living shit out of everything here. These uh, spell casts haven't been amazing so far. Yep, 
The amount of Winds of Magic that we've got is not an issue because we can do like so many Arcane Conduits. Alright, ready? <laughs> yeah, it's freaking heaps. Hand of Glory is pretty bad spell. Yep, I agree with that. That is a shit spell. I agree. Oh shit. Shut guns shooting you. Does an overcasting burning head give it AP? Hang on. I don't think so. I think it just makes a larger area of effect. Yeah, it still says weak against armor. Just, yeah, it does increase the damage, maybe a little bit. Still, not really worth overcasting it. Cool, victory's in our grasp already. Good. Alright, go back over there, and uh, let's just, uh, let's bomb. And if that doesn't cut it, then... Oh, God, they're fucking stupid. They're aiming for the bloody single entity. <laughs> Can't just let the, the thing go automatic, can you? There we go. Let there be bombardment. That is so satisfying to watch. Black and dwarves are the strongest race in the game! Lack of alive dwarfs up here, though. There's not enough dwarfs up here. What's going on? Alright, come on. Stupid restrict camera, I want to get cinematic views! Bahamut Zero did a five dollar super chat. Everything about this makes me so happy. All right, anyways, dude, thanks super chat. Appreciate it. There we go. It's much better. Here we go. Nothing like a little bombardment to start your day. Fuck. 
stupid restrict camera? <laughs> Fucking hell, man. Just let me get the shot. Yeah, can't get any closer. The guy was getting shot and he was probably getting tossed around a fair bit. Uh, Jen J did a 10 pill in Super Chat. Heal the Fire Wizard, you can afford it. Uh, yeah, you're right. Except he's not going to be in the next fight, so I don't need him. Now, let me watch this. <laughs> Stop interrupting it. Actually, I gotta be careful because. What's going on? Alright, let's bring in the griffins and just finish this off. Okay, maybe maybe stop the bombardment so we don't use up too much balance of power. Don't forget, they're all disciplined, so they got really high melee attack. So they'll beat the shit out of most things. Even if they are a wizard. Even Thorgrim's gonna go down real quick. And they got armor piercing. Yep. This one here's taking some damage. Probably getting the majority of the hits from Thorgrim. Alright, try to get out of there. Did we kill Thorgrim? Where'd he go? No, he's still there. If we hurt him, but didn't kill him. Shaman, go rises with haste quickly. Amber wizard. Like I said, we need to make sure that uh, these units here are in good shape. Because they've got to take on Thoric Iron Brown straight after this. Crazy, crazy and thought Kiwi did a five dollar super chat. The Dawi shall avenge this grudge in my Thoric campaign. Uh, but for real, great campaign legend. Learned a lot, so thank you for what you do. No worries, dude, my pleasure. Thanks, super chat. Yeah, they still get hit pretty hard. Michael Nuzzo, do channel this video. I love the smell of mortars in the morning. It smells like victory. Yep. Thanks, dude. Appreciate the super chat. Alright, finally got rid of Thorgrim there. Oh shit, I used up most of my magic. Back off for a little bit. Gotta recover some health. 
So we got plenty of magic in terms of arcane conduits though. Yeah, that's the problem with the um, no, uh, the disciplined Amber Wizard Doomstack. Like, it hits pretty hard, but it also takes damage pretty quickly as well, because they're not exactly the best at melee defense. So you got to watch it. Someone decided to stay. Disobey my orders. Get in over here. Still got heaps of wins. And there's the arm losses. Cool. Stop. Alright, now I'm just going to try to heal as much as I can before the battle ends. Which, everything's looking pretty good. We should be able to handle Thorak without any problems. Doesn't help to be at. It doesn't hurt to be at full strength. Now let's play a video for a Village just dropped. Okay, that's great. I, I don't really care about creative assemblies. Let's plays. I don't really think they're very interesting. They're basically just trailers. They kind of show you stuff without really showing you anything. They're very good at that. They don't show you any real gameplay, they just show you, like, cinematic stuff. And that's fine, it makes sense for advertising purposes, but I I'm not personally interested in it. They're not even less players? Yeah, they're more like cinematic... ...gameplay snippets, kind of. A better way of putting it, you know. True Let's Play is kind of like what Lionheart does, which that is not what they do. You know, Let's Play is just somebody playing the game. That's not it. Doctored gameplay? Yeah, doctored gameplay. That's a good way of putting it. Alright, a little bit of damage done to our guys, but otherwise, nothing. Alright, and then they're down to four, uh, 13. Well, it's actually, they're down to 12, but the High Elves still have one. Of the weak. Now, these guys are all on Griffins now, aren't they? There isn't anyone... Yeah, they're all on Griffins. I didn't give them any equipment. <laughs> oh, this guy... He's got a glittering scales, but yeah. I didn't bother giving them equipment. That might have helped a little bit in their resistances, but it should still be fine. Might even be able to auto-resolve this one. Oh, shit! Holy crap. I thought I was going to have to fight that manually for sure. Doesn't matter, no other fights to do this turn. Uh, Can BK did a 5 dollar super chat, a grudge for every mortar shell. Yeah, okay. Thank you super chat dude, appreciate it. Down to 12. Cool. And if we had auto resolve that battle, we wouldn't have been able to auto resolve that one, probably. Anyway. Then we just hit Mount Squighorn, and that's them cleared out of that area. Uh, this one needs to head around over that one. That hits there. That one hits there. That's done. Karakor ride, which I'll just wait for this one to show up. Yeah, if they sell out over the end turn, I'll just back off. I'll just wait for this one to show up. I think. In fact, why don't we do this? Champion of the faith. Go after Mount Arachnos. The I'll just come back there next turn. All the turn after, it doesn't matter. And then there was... 11. 
THK did a five euro super chat. Hey, Legend, do you think the Dawi regret teaching the Empire about gunpowder weapons by now? Yep, probably big regrets. The person who approved that probably is in the Book of Grudges. Has to become a slayer. Maybe. Thanks, Super Chat. Alright. Alright, well, we've got other stuff we gotta do here. Um, here we go. I gotta deal with this. Foster clock. Okay. Somebody needs to besiege the crag halls of Findel. That has to be order resolved, because if we have a look, uh, we should send our weakest army to do that. Maybe, um, not that one. Summon the Elector Counts. What orders? Praise be to Sigma. The nation calls. Sigmarite Arch. Okay, how about you? You besiege Crag Halls of Findel. Okay, what does lightning strike yield? Okay, that's fine. For the Emperor! Now, if we have a look at that. Let's have a look at the map. I'm pretty sure this map here is the worst. Hey, Tariff, how's it going, dude? I'm pretty sure this is like the worst map for us. Oh, no, that's... It's bad. It's bad, but it's not as bad as I thought it was. That's not... That's not so bad. Okay. Bye, Sigma! I am Prince and Emperor. Okay. Now there's only three armies outside here. Uh, Karl Fran should launch this attack. Your word is my command. Protector of the weak. True servant of Sigma. God. It's gonna be a tight squeeze. Ever onward. Seek out the heretics. For Sigma. Praise be to Sigma. I will do anything for Sigma. Men, we must. And can we just auto resolve it? <laughs> oh man. So what if we take some damage? Cool. Oh whoa, jeez. Sigma compels us on. I was really worried about this area. I'm massively overprepared. Bring me to my men. Okay, and then Oh, that's a big deal. Taking that out so easily. Falls the lazy. Hey, I didn't need to fight it manually, so why bother? I hate fighting an Atholoran, though. Worth place to fight. Also, we picked up the Sword of Cain. Okay, now these two armies here. Uh, yeah, you go attack the Oak of Ages. Oh, shit, there's no garrison there. Huh. Awaiting orders. All oh, right, yeah, we don't ever put garrison. Okay, well, that's it. Makes it easy. True servant of Sigma. All right, and then the shit, that's another one. Bites the dust. Holy crap, we might be done with this sooner than I thought. Holy shit! Sigmarite Arch Lecter. Sigma is cast evil out. And. This will clear out Athel Lauren. No longer take attrition on Athel Lauren because we got the Oak of Ages. God damn. Okay. Alright, all that's really left is this over here. Holy crap, this is happening way quicker than I thought it would. Okay, now, it's time for Volkmar the Grim to smash up all these. This is like such an anti-dwarf army. I'm fairly sure. Now, let's see, should we lightning strike him? Oh wow, we just auto-resolve. Oh no, we can't. 
All right, let's let's lightning strike this. So that means that our reinforcements aren't showing up, but it's, it's time to put Volkmar a bit more to the test. Let's see if he can handle. This is a pretty serious army. Let's see if he can handle it. I think he can. The elves are last to go. The dwarves, the the dwarves will be the last to go. Once we've cleared out this area of the dwarfs, then the elves serve no further purpose. Warrior priest! Shakebar calls! Okay. Yeah, troll hammer torpedoes. Glad I'm not on the uh, other thing. But they're not shooting at us. Hmm, okay. Go around this way. Okay, now they're shooting us. Let's get some ward safe. Guy must be fleet footed. Battle wizard! Swiftly! Grand field genist! <laughs> it's gonna fuck them up big time. Seems like they're handling it just fine. Did any of these game crashes happen after the Chaos Invasion? No, it's been pretty stable since then. Yeah, I had to. I verified my game cache. It's uh, verified my game files. I mean, um, it's all been pretty stable since then. I'm turn 200-ish with Skaven, but I can't Thanos snap with Sneak Itch because game crashes. Is there a fix to this? Um, look, I'm not Total War Help Desk, so I don't know about, like, crash fixes. The only thing, the first thing I would have to ask is, are you using mods? If you're using mods, that might have something to do with it. Um, I've never had any game crash problems with, uh, with Thanos snapping as Snitch, so I don't know. If you're running mods, that's probably the cause. Apart from that, I don't know. Like I said, I'm not Total War Help Desk with that kind of stuff. Oh god, just absolutely smashed the dwarves here. I almost feel embarrassed for them. Just 
Yeah, like the battle prayers isn't going to delete an entire army in one go, but the fact that you can just keep using it over and over again, like just the more durable you are, which these guys are very durable, the better. I'll take out the artillery, I think that's what's stopping us from winning. Alright, just do a little bit of healing and uh, move on. Don't worry about running them down, it's not that important. Odds we finish tonight? Pretty much 100%. We've already conquered half the settlements that we need to conquer and wiped out more than half of the armies that we need to conquer. I feel like tonight's actually going to be a fairly short stream. I thought that today's stream was going to be three or four hours. But I thought, also thought that I was going to have to fight ma battles manually at Atholoran, and we didn't. We auto-resolved all of them. Um, so there's not much left to do. The, the last of the Dwarven armies are right here. Full strength. After we've taken these three armies out here, they have no troops left. I think. Uh, Rasmus Tidman did a 10 SEK super chat. Thanks, dude. Appreciate the super chat. Hey, Legend, did you see that immortality is now going to auto unlock at level 20 the same way mounts auto unlock? Seems cool. Can't wait to play Marathi with all these freed, S freed up SP. Yeah, that's that's okay. Um, that actually benefits the AI more than the player, okay? So here's the thing Have you ever killed an enemy hero above level 20? I have. That's because I don't always put it into immortality. Now, with it being done automatically. Get ready, once an enemy hero or lord has hit rank 20, it will always be immortal. So, got to think about the counterbalance of that. And also think about, sure, you don't need to spend one additional point into uh, immortality. But most lords, like Marathi is a good example of, of a lord that, that can be very useful for. But most lords don't even have 49 skill points to put it into. So, you're going to end up with most characters with like... 20 skill points remaining when they're hit rank rank 50. They're just they're just not going to be able to spend all their points. Creative Assembly increased the level cap, and then they're giving you all these free skill points, and they haven't added any additional skills. It doesn't make most of your characters any stronger. So what they really need to do is go into like the vast majority of the characters and just add some more skill lines. Like I'll I'll show you some examples, right? Like right here. Okay, let's use let's use a warrior priest as an example. Now in Warhammer Where'd it go? Fucking asshole. Um okay, so we use this as an example here, right? So forty skill points, right? So, imagine if we had 10 extra skills, right? Th that's all free. That's free. So, let's assume we would have gotten that one for free. So, I put that point into there. Then we've got 10 extra skill points to distribute. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Literally one point left to d put into with this particular one, right? Just, it'll have one skill point left in. And do you really need to put 100% of the things in there? And also, this is not one of the smaller skill trees, right? Let's use a different example. A life wizard, right? Okay. Let's use a different example. So, get that skill point back. Right. Okay, so I would get one, two skill points back. No, three. So, we get three skill points back because those are auto-unlocked. 
and then you get another 10. So you get 13 skill points. One, two, three, four, five. So you've got eight skill points that you cannot distribute. You gotta put in some more skills for these characters. You, they'll literally get everything. You know? It's great for Marathi, but really what Creative Assembly need to be doing, and I think they are, but they need to really add um, like melee skill lines to pretty much every wizard in the game. And with every hero, like a warrior priest that is just like a melee hero, they need to add in some like interesting choices. Every hero should not at, at rank at like maximum rank have everything. They shouldn't. There should always be some things that you just didn't get. Because if you if there are some things that you so if you just get everything, then none of the decisions really matter because you just end up getting everything, right? So I'm all for more skill points, but you've got to give the player actual decisions because, like, once you finish with the skill line here, they do. Yeah, it doesn't need immortality. There's no more decisions to be made. Uh, Rasmus Tid Tidman did a 10 SEK super chat. Thanks for super chat, dude. Appreciate it. So yeah, um, you know, I'm all for it, but you know, they, they've got to do that stuff. Um, Okay, so that actually pushed that away really far. Like he could go to Elasi and just finish us off. Um, yes. we need to. to the faithless. I am the supreme patriarch. Yeah. Uh, Chris George did a five dollar submission. Hey, Legend, what would you at change add to Elizabeth to make them an S tier race? How, how highly do you value the removal of rampages a buff in IE? I value it. It's it's okay. It's not like it's the biggest thing ever what i would do is add in a meaningful mechanic for the um um uh oh my god what's it fucking called <laughs> the geometric web um and allow you to get um what i would do is make it so that every point of geometric web that you've built up so, for example, let's just say you've got tier 5 Geomantic Web, then that should give you 5 Geomantic points or whatever. You can then spend those points kind of like as if they were Canopic Jars in some sort of like Mortuary Cult or like Oath Gold. Um, that's what I would do. Um, I think that would be... And, and do it for like all of... That wouldn't work for Nakai, but he's already got his own resource um, that actually actually works fairly well for him. Uh, Rasmus Tidman did a 50 SEK Super Chat. Are you going to try out Nagash? I know you dislike mod. But that one is basically a race DLC that doesn't add also base game. I might do it. I'm considering it. Thanks, Super Chat, dude. I'm considering that. All right, I got to consider how we're going to do this. I want Gelt to be able to. Never yield. What? Actually, let's just use Volkmar to like clean up some of these. I don't necessarily need Gelt to do it. Um. Yeah, we still can't really. Justify. Okay, why don't we do this? We'll auto resolve this one. It'll leave us really badly damaged. Woo! <laughs> that way I don't need to run that one down again. And then we'll heal in the next fight. I don't think wizards should get melee skill. Well, just whatever, whatever. Just, it's just that giving them a melee skill is just you could just copy paste that. That's all I. Like, it's just easy for Creative Assembly. See, I'm, I'm considerate. Um, but yeah, I would totally agree that it would be better, instead of giving them a melee skill line, if they actually got something to bolster Winds of Magic, or just something more interesting. But yeah, for, like, the Empire Wizard, if they don't add any additional skills, then it does. it's just not good enough. It's like, it's adding, adding 10 extra skill points and giving uh, mounts for free... Why bother? Like, it hit his maximum potential at rank 20. So, why bother? The righteous hammer. Okay, we gotta fight this manually, but we'll use this opportunity to heal. Or a skill point with 99 empty slots to give plus 1% HP. Yeah, it's not just something to, like, dump skill points into, but that provides you with some degree of value. Because, yeah, there's only a handful of characters that truly benefit from all the changes they're doing to skill points. Marathi being one, uh, Malekith, Balthazar, Gelt, they're, they're ones that benefit. Generally speaking, like, wizard lords are the ones that benefit a lot from. 
Plague Ridden will benefit. Um, uh, Giant River Troll Hag will benefit. But, you know, the Cathay characters, none of them are going to benefit from being rank 50. It's just, they've just got wasted skill points. You know, Crave Assembly really need to, you know, if, if they want to have a really good campaign experience, which I would assume is their priority, they need to make it so that every single time your character levels up, a meaningful decision can be made. If it's a worthless decision, then what's the point? You know? The best campaigns are the ones where every step of the way, every decision you make actually means something. And the worst campaigns are the ones where your decision means nothing. You know, what is, what is strategy? I really got to ask Creative Assembly this. Did they even understand what is strategy? Strategy is the process of making decisions. <laughs> That's what strategy is, okay? If you take decisions out of the equation, it's no longer strategy. And what is a decision? A decision is a series of options in which you must choose one of those options, okay? If you present three options and all three options are exactly the same, then it's not a decision. Alternatively, if you present three options and all three options suck, and you have the option to not choose an option, that's bad. Which is what happens in Realm of Chaos. You know, I think in, a, in many ways, Creative Assembly does not understand strategy at all, which is so weird because they're a leader in strategy games and just they just don't understand what strategy is. Like at a basic level, they just don't understand. Decisions difficult to just take my decisions away from me. You know. Every level should be meaningful decision or be a big payoff for previous decisions. Or a small payoff, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, when you're just when you're just like dumping skills into stuff that you don't want your character to have, then that's a fail. You, you know, or if all of your characters end up exactly the same, that's not really that's not really a decision. You just go through the motions, and there's a lot of that in this game. CA beef? It's not CA beef. It's just like if they want this game to reach its maximum potential, they have to understand these things. They don't seem to because they don't apply it. You know, a lot of the times, what their decision making in design philosophy is to take away the player's decision. I don't know why they do that. Hey, play a decision OP. Make it so that they have no choice in the matter. I don't know. Skills like hinder or punishment worthless. Well, it's not that the skill is worthless. Um... That one's not very useful, yeah. Um, but it's like, if you're going to have, you know, heroes attached to the army and not use that skill, you know, I don't need it. Like, wouldn't it be good if there was more blue line skills, right? And more yellow line skills. That way you could designate and specialize each of your characters so they're not all the goddamn same. You know? And there's plenty of mods out there that do that as well, that add more skills to your um, characters. Not, I don't think it's difficult to do. Because, yeah, this is this is what happens. Whenever you say to CA, uh, you know, can you do this a little bit better? There's always somebody that's like, hey, stop asking CA to do better. Don't you know, um, does it, like, work is hard? You shouldn't, you shouldn't expect a company to do work. It's too hard. Uh, why not? If modders who don't get paid at all can do a better job... Hey, don't capacitate modders. But it's true. Like the CAs, uh, oftentimes the modders do a bit better than them. It's really hard work. I've no look. It is really hard work making a game, by no means. But they made millions of dollars from Warhammer Three, millions of dollars by doing a bad job.
tens of millions, maybe even hundreds of millions over the course of however long it's going to last. You know? And that's your money. You know? And if you're okay with that, that's, you know, that's your choice. They didn't do a bad job, they just made bad choices. Dude, what's the difference? <laughs> what's the difference? <laughs> oh, of course they did a bad job on the Realm of Chaos. The game came out and lost its player base almost immediately. Of course they did a bad job. How can you say that you, they didn't? That the previous game has more players than it. Of course they did a bad job on the Realm of Chaos. That's just a fact. What's the point of the Beast Wizard in the army? Siege attacker. He's the only one that's a siege attacker, so yeah. Just in case Volkmar needs to do sieges. Yeah, and I know all of this stuff here might seem like, Oh, Legend, why are you hating on CA? I'm not. I'm not. I'm trying to fucking help them. <laughs> you know? I'm never telling people, And, uh, um, fuck CA. You know, go go and uh, go and uh, harass their employees and never buy their products again. I never say that. I say you got to hold them to account and make them do the work that they need to do, so that these products are actually worth the money that you guys pay for. You guys hold me to account every single campaign. Every little every little mistake I make, you guys give me shit for, and I'm better off for it, you know? You know? Being criticized like crazy is what helped me become a better player. And I kind of feel like that's the same thing with CA, but you gotta be, you gotta like, of course, the criticism needs to come from, like, a good place, um, where, like, you want it to get better, not like, Eh, hey, you just suck, bruh. It's not like that. Um, okay, this guy is taking the damage. I don't think that flame attack's doing much. I don't need to worry. Do you have a good idea to put Volkmar on his mobility scooter? Yeah, if you're not going up against missile units and anti-large, then yeah. But, you know, if we put him on his mobility scooter, um, like in this particular campaign, there's actually been good uh, good examples of this. When we put him on his mobility scooter, the AI target him with guns and shit, and they just, they kill him really, really quickly. But wait, if you put him on foot, he's too hard to hit, and he just gets mixed in amongst these guys. 
the main advantage of putting on his mobility scooter is that you get two uses of banishment, which is good, and he becomes unbreakable, which he's not even close to coming into breaking. Uh, I also think it gives him some magic resistance, which he doesn't need. But yeah, it just depends on what you're going up against. You know, if you're going up against Chaos, for example, then yeah, put him on his mobility scooter for sure. Alright, we're not quite done here. Try to heal as much as possible. Some of these guys are obviously not going to be able to heal. But we should be able to auto resolve that next bit. Do you think the DLC team has taken over the game's development is doing a good job? Uh, okay, that's hard to answer in like a yes or no sort of way. I would say that it doesn't feel like the same way it was in Warhammer 2. It doesn't, like, when when we were doing it with Warhammer 2 DLC, it was like they could do no wrong. It was weird. I, I barely ever needed to provide feedback. It was usually a case of whenever they sent a DLC, I was usually like, awesome. That's usually, that's all I did. It's just like, really good, maybe tweak this one or two thing, which they would never do. But I was like, it's usually like, 9 or 10 out of 10. Like, for example, the Beastman update, I said, change nothing. It's perfect. Um, but now, it's... I'm not going to go into details about certain things, but it doesn't... It's just not the same. Something's different. You know, the mentality seems to be very different. It's just not the same. Sigma guides my steps. Blessings of Sigmar. Alright, I don't think Volkmar's gonna be able to assist there. That might just be the last battle Volkmar ever fights. The wicked flee before me. Did you ever get to play Total War Arena before it disappeared? Yeah, it was okay. It's a multiplayer game, so naturally I'm not really gonna to gravitate towards it, but uh, I I enjoyed it a bit. Ah, fucking hell! <laughs> I forgot to check. I think he's immortal. Oh my god, how many warrior priests? Yeah, he's, he's immortal. Not that it really matters, it's the end game now. You summon me. And that is the end of the High Elves as well, I believe. It is best to move. So does that mean you already have access to IE? I'm not going to confirm or deny anything. So... I'm just going to say it's not the same. Uh, Stanislav Nadenkov did a $5 super chat. Hey Legend, how do I confederate dwarfs as Grombrindle? I have 200 plus relation with them, but they still don't want to confed. My strength ranking is 7. Okay, thanks dude. Thanks super chat. It's not just about your strength ranking and relation. They also need to be weak or threatened. So if they're not weak or threatened, then you need to throw a massive bribe. So one thing that you can do is military ally with them and drag them into a war with somebody stronger than them that's close to them. They'll feel threatened and they'll confederate for free. Thanks super chat. Appreciate it. Alright, we are down, I think, to seven. And if I'm not mistaken, yep, it's just the dwarfs now. Just the dwarfs. And if I'm not mistaken as well, they have no armies. If we have a look here. Oh, no, there's one. We're looking for red names. Nothing out that way. Nothing out that way. I think I actually wiped out their entire army in one turn. Okay. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I believe it'll take two more turns to finish this off. Because it's going to take that dude two turns to get there, this guy two turns to get there. I'll just use the movement bug. One turn to get there. One turn to get there. Hang on, where are they? One. Oh shit, this guy's got to go around over here. Send this guy up this way. They'll probably recruit an army here. Yeah, two turns to get from here to here. Let's recruit another army. Just don't do that. Two turns to get there. Or one or two turns, it depends. 
So let's see. One, two, three, four, uh, five, six. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Where's that last little one? One, two, three. Four, five, six. Okay, there we go. Seven. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, yeah, that guy needs to go around that way. All right, well then, why don't we, why don't we do this? If if we're gonna if we're gonna do it this way, I'll recruit one last army. To to be able to help out there, because that's a fairly large garrison. Okay, what do we need? We need mortars. Actually, no. We just need a finishing up crew. That should be all we need. Because, like, I can soften them up like crazy with all this. And then we just need enough dudes to just come in and soften them up, like... Yeah. I should, um, switch him out for... I'm gonna switch him out for somebody with, uh, just a new one. Warrior of Sigma. Doesn't need immortality. Halberds, really? Yeah, it'd be fine. We're only going up against 14 units. Okay, and let's start getting rid of some of these armies that we definitely don't need. Let's get ourselves back into the green. Forward. I trust no man. Die. Protector of the weak. Sigmarite Archlector. Mm. True servant of Sigma. Need you. Need you. True servant of Don't Sigma. need you anymore, Marcus. You may go. To eternal retirement. You're done. This guy here is done. Protector of the Champion of the faith. This guy here is done. You're not done. Uh this army here is a done. Arch Lecter. What orders? Be pretty funny if a rogue army shows up this next end turn and just attacks a settlement. <laughs> oh my god. That would be the most annoying shit ever. Just attack some undefended settlement that's out there, like in Athaloran. Oh yeah, we got shitloads in Athaloran, don't we? Okay, get rid of you. But keep an army sitting in every single one of these areas because. <laughs> what if, imagine if a, a rogue army just shows up in here and attacks. You know, one of these settlements this is game over. Protector of the weak. Champion of the faith. Moving off. I need to keep it in here a short time. No, you bloody immortal bastard. Arch Lector. Okay, let's just get ourselves back into the green. True servant of Sigma. Yeah, you're more damaged, so you come in. True servant of Sigma. Seek out the heretics. You are judged. What happens if you abandon all settlements and disband all armies after painting the map? You can't abandon all settlements. You can't. I don't think you can abandon. Hmm. 
You can't actually abandon your capital. I don't know, I guess you would lose. Yeah, I guess you would lose if you did that. Alright, what else do we get rid of? God, I'm still in the negative. I don't think this guy here is going to make it to the next fight. This guy here is needed. This guy here, yeah, keep that there just in case. Come on, I just need to cut away just a little bit more. Surely we don't need 24 armies. What do we still... Hang on, maybe... What do we still have that we don't need? Oh, yeah, 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 I forgot about all these over here, right. Um... Oh shit, this guy here can make it! Cool, I didn't realize he had enough movement. Okay, that finishes him off. Oh, what the fuck? I nearly hit auto-resolve. <laughs> uh, what? Nah, we can win that. What the fuck are they supposed to do about this? Get the fuck out of here. The reason we're probably bad in auto-resolve is due to the damage. If I had merged all those units, we'd probably be fine. It'd be pretty funny if we lost. Quickly now, at once, sons of Sigma, attack at once, without delay, double time. As they're advancing, we want to like feign charges in them so they advance really slowly. Dude here, With idiots. With pleasure, as you say, at speed. Immediately. In the name of Sigma. Quickly now. Quick march. I have my orders. At once. Without delay. With speed. Double time. At speed. Okay, maybe I can start to see why I thought I'd get a Valiant defeat. Kind of. Okay, 
No, no, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We're fine. We're fine. There we go. Yeah, I told you. We're fine. We're fine. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I was I was a little bit worried there for a second. <laughs> the very that's the very last wolf force as well. Hey, we hit 4,000 viewers. That's good. Appreciate everyone being here today. Oh, God. Okay, you may go. You may go. Yay, back into the green. Oh, man, we nearly went broke there. Fucking hell. Alright, I'll keep you there for this time. Okay, cool. Back up to 50,000. Alright, I believe that there are no more dwarfen armies, but let me just look. Yeah, there shouldn't be any more. No red names anywhere. Alright, so we should be done in two turns. Why am I doing this shit? Check pound to pound diplomacy. Yeah, it was already like full yellow before. Yeah, should be fine. All right, so now, okay, if a rogue army shows up, if a rogue army shows up, they usually don't move at all in their first turn. So, we really need to keep an eye on this. Because they will probably declare one straight away because of our very low reliability. So, um, if a rogue army shows up, we have to know exactly where it is. We can summon the elect accounts wherever needed. Why building? Because a rogue army could show up. Okay, rogue army didn't show up. Alright, now they would have recruited one lord. We just need to know where it is. It's probably here. Yeah, they recruited a lord there. Okay, that's fine. They usually only recruit one. Uh, how many settlements remaining now? Yeah, still seven. Okay. Oh, shit, they recruited a second one. Here. Hmm, doesn't matter. That should be easy to resolve. I think that's the end of the road for that. Six remaining. Oops. Six, there we go. True servant of Sigma. Man, if a rogue army shows up, that's going to be the worst thing Order ever. Show me the accused. Okay, that's the end of the road for him. Five remaining. 
Like I said, can't get to all of them this turn. Champion of the faith. Praise be to Sigma. By Sigma. I have no time for this. Purge the heretics. If today's stream ended up being really short, do you think you might do a stream tomorrow? Uh, I definitely will not stream tomorrow. I'm going to be busy. Arch Lecter. No, I cannot be sure. I won't Champion be able to stream tomorrow. Faith. Next stream will be on Sunday. Oh, yeah, ogres. Yeah, okay, sorry about it. Don't think we need them anymore. Protector of the weak. Four cities left. True servant of Sigma. I'll fight this battle manually, but I'll do it, and this will be the final battle. Sigmar is with us. Gotta have an epic finale. When we send in melee infantry under glorious mortar fire. So, the other three settlements, one, two, three, they're all being chased after. We can see in all three settlements. Hang on. This one here, that there's no army there. Chrono sticks at a 50 and okay, Simjet Ogres, my lord. Yeah, I guess we can. I should have um, put someone to go sort that out. Why not? <laughs> okay. Don't disband any armies. If a, if a rogue army shows up this turn. Oh, he's so fucking annoyed. last battle you lose it's very tempting to like deliberately fuck up that last battle and uh lose the battle it is kind of tempting because that'd just be hilarious but at the same time you know we came this far 541 battles you know Derek Hughes said five dollars what is the highest difficulty that melee units can be relied upon to hold alliance or even win the battle for melee focused armies uh, that would be uh, very hard battle difficulty. They can be relied upon, but um, it's not optimal. That's all. You, you can use melee infantry on legendary difficulty with very hard battles, but you're not going to get great results out of them. The thing is, even on normal difficulty, you're still they're still not going to be optimal. They're not optimal on any difficulty. It's just that it gets more and more pronounced as the difficulties go up. That's all. And it can be very unsatisfying seeing your, like, great sword lose to, like, basic marauders. So that's why, you know, I just encourage people not to play into bad mechanics. Alright, we're, we're really in the end game now. This will be the last turn. So turn 330. Let's just make sure there's nothing out there that can screw us. That dude's not going to sally out, there's no way. Oh yeah, we can switch him on um, in camp stance to get 5 extra melee defense, that'd be good. But yeah, they'll have strength of the penitent as well. Which is really good. Um, since he's going in with them. Glittering scales. Got a Tormentor Sword. Yeah. There you go. And... No, I don't need that. Got anything good in here? No. I don't know. Whatever. By Sigma. All right, here we go. It's only Karaz Karak. Here we go. 
We're in the end game now. Warrior of Sigma. Your word is my command. Summon the Elector Counts for the final battle. I'll summon the Elector Counts after the final battle. We just don't need it for that situation. Here to serve. Sigma. Hello, Baskerville did a... 10 euro super chat legend is a title you more than earned. Respect. All right, thanks, dude. Uh, it's not a title; it's a name, so it's not it's not a title. But anyway, thanks for the super chat, dude. What triggers rogue armies to spawn? Just can happen randomly. Imagine if a rogue army just was like spawned here and immediately attacked Arian's camp. Protector can't do anything about it. <laughs> just just can't do anything about it. Death to the faithless. One. City left. Give Carl France for kind of final battle. Carl France is all the way over here. I, I don't have time for that. Faith shields us. Here we go. The final battle of this campaign, one way or another. We either win... ...and uh, that that's the end of it, or we lose, and in case that's the end of it. Ogres, my lord? Doesn't matter. Alright, so I am going to bomb from this angle here. These guys here will need some cover, but that's okay. Uh, I'm gonna put the crossbows out front, because this... Which target, General? I don't want the mortars getting shot. Here we go. It's the final battle. And do you know what the fun? For the final fight, I will be marching in the halberdiers pretty early in the fight. I just want to get rid of some towers and soften them up a little bit. And then I'll be sending the halberdiers in. We're going to win this final battle with melee infantry. No magic. You're going in as well. Ahira01 did a 5 dollar super chat. Now the next challenge should be taking the dwarves in conquering the map in 300 turns. Uh, we'll see. Thanks, super chat. Appreciate it. We'll see. I don't know what's next. Much, I'm pretty inclined to do the uh, Nagash mod actually next. But we'll see. Marching towards the front line. It's a bit oversaturated. Whatever. Glorious helpers to save the day. Alright, thanks dude. Thanks for the uh, five dollars super chat. Punish Venom co cell. What up? Oh, what the fuck are you doing? Why did you gate? Oh, your artillery bugged me, you dipshit. He's been shot a bit. Okay, you take your eyes off the fucking mortars for one moment and they get artillery bugged. Shot at. I'm trying to get rid of the towers. Let's 
to be a cinematic end to this uh, this campaign. Rich yeah. to super chat. Look at those pantaloons marching into glorious hellfire. Yep. You super chat, dude. Super chat. Dude. Okay, you guys start advancing. But we should have them walk because it's epic. That's what it looks like for the dwarfs. What we really need is Star Wars Imperial March theme, because that's that's what this is. This is the Imperial March. This is the dumbest thing that you could possibly do in this battle, but attack! <laughs> Ryan Jones did a five dollar super chat. Veni Vidi Vici, congratulations on the campaign. All right, thanks. Do appreciate the super chat. No legend. Why don't you not cheese all the time? Oh, this needs to be even even more epic cinematic mode. Yay, melee fights! By the comets, Lucas's head flew by me. Oh, look! I ordered an artillery strike there, and they freaking moved out of the way. My own units. Um, sorry. They fucking moved out of the way. 
Look at them go, they're moving out of the way. I left Graves did a five euro super chat. Lord Garethos would be proud. All right, thanks, dude. Thank you, super chat. Appreciate it. Ooh, hammerers. They could get fucked up by that real quick. Sinbad911 did a photo of Superchat, Chase for the Chase God. No worries, dude, thanks for Superchat, appreciate it. Yeah, 5k people here now. Cool, appreciate everyone being here. Hope you're enjoying it. God, we could have done this with zero casualties as well. <laughs> this guy's doing damage. It's alright. Uh, Forks uh, Forever did a $10 super chat. What great saga. Congrats, Legend from Syria with love. Alright, thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Popo did a $5 super chat. Thank you for the great campaign. Glad I was able to watch it all through the end. You wrapped it up on the last day. I'll have free for a while. Alright, no worries, dude. Thank you, super chat. And we just got the victory there. See, you don't need to cheese. <laughs> it's an absurd number of casualties. A lot of it friendly fire. Use the mortar unit to cap the town square just to add insult to injury. It doesn't matter, it's it's done. I missed a donation, sorry. Um it was the chat was going up real quick. Sinbad nine one one did a five super chat, cheese for the cheese god. Alright, thanks dude. Nacho Amato did a five euro super chat. What a what an e spectacular end. This is beautiful. Thanks for the awesome content. PD, the spiffing Brit is gonna love this. Oh, okay. Alright, thanks dude, thanks for super chat, appreciate it. Um, Aiden Corrigan did a hundred pound super chat. Great series. Well done. Thanks, dude. That's really generous. That's like, that's like two hundred dollar dues. Thanks for the super chat. Really appreciate that. The diplomacy has been, look, I can't click diplomacy. There are 353 settlements in the game. There we go. It's done. Do the quest battle. I guess we could. We got. I got a bit of time. Uh, Verheyen did a ten dollar super chat. Missed basically the entire saga, but seems like it ended great. Um, 
The 10 bucks is because I've been following last year's Gelt campaign to help me so far. Strongest legendary game. No zoom my play. Uh, Jonathan Turtle did a $16 super chat. Thanks, dude. Appreciate the super chat. Uh, hang on. Uh, Mr. T did a ten dollars super chat. GG, enjoy the content. Appreciate you, dude. No worries. Glad you enjoy it. Okay, where is Carl Franz? All right, he actually lost a couple of units. So let me just. Uh, what do you need? Prince and Emperor. Take the. Forward in his name. Get the Hillstorm rocket batteries. Yeah. All right. Ready. And the final battle shall actually be against Norska. <laughs> this is like one of the earliest uh, battles you can do. They do have reinforcements. Better get Beast Slayer! Will you abandon all armies and settlements to see what happens? There are 353 settlements. It'll take me like half an hour just to click that many times. Uh, David Johnson did a $5 super chat. Congrats, man. Enjoy your weekend. Alright, thanks, dude. Enjoy your weekend as well. Thanks, super chat. Apes. Yeah, the caveman. Uh, Marcus Wilfart did a $30 super chat. Fantastic job. Thanks, dude. Appreciate the super chat. Glad you liked it. So the final battle is with Carl Franz. Hear me now, brave men. Brave Reichlanders, hear me. The celestial wizards read the portents true. Norse raiders land on Nordland's shores. We have marched many miles, but there is no distance so great that I would not gladly march it to face this, our ultimate foe. Are you with me, men of the Empire? For when the Northmen come, they will attack hard, as their despicable gods demand. We must be ready to push them back, thrust them into the sea, in defense of the Empire. For Sigma... For the Empire! For the Warhammer! But Marnie did a 10 pound super chat. Good luck in the final battle. What an epic series. Alright, thanks, dude. Clapper Valley did a 5 dollar super chat. Blood for the cheese guard. Alright, thanks, dude. Uh, Matt O did a 5 dollar super chat. Shout out to the Ogres, Imperial Knights, and Spearman Garrison for clutching out those battles. Fun to see the campaign progress. No, it's dude. Thanks, super chat. Cool. Alright, so. Let's do this. Now, if I recall. No, I can't remember this battle. Gonna... I do this battle so very rarely. Careful that they don't get around that way. That would suck. They will taste my steel, my gunpowder, and my dick! Uh, Iron Silk did a ten dollar super chat. Iron Silk did a ten dollar super chat. Thanks, dude. Thanks for the super chat. All right, <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank you. Okay. Let's see. We go. Ready? Oh yeah, here we go. Welcome to S no Nordland, gentlemen. Yeah, welcome to Nordland, you fucking Norskins. D-Day colorized. Uh, Kaylin Barber became a new member. Thanks, dude. Appreciate the support. Alright. 
Hold fire, because there's more reinforcements coming and it's in the man enough here. Use a small arms fire now. Sneaky boy coming around over the side here. Jesse Monium became a new member. Alright, thanks dude, appreciate the support. Thank you. Glad to have you as a member. Thanks to everyone for the support today. Shattered, but there should be one more wave coming. Bra da did a 13.13 13 euro super chat. And this is for all the hours of entertainment videos, streams, and new campaigns. I tried thanks to you. Keep up the so keep it up, legend. Hopefully, Worm 3 ends up being the game we all want it to be. I hope so as well. Thanks, super chat. Appreciate it. Uh, okay, just waiting for those reinforcements whenever they want to show up. Give us a save file. Alright, I'll put it in the description in the um, in the VOD. But, you know, you're not really going to be able to do anything with it. <laughs> but okay, I'll give it to you. Jack Brown did a 5 year super chat. Little did you know Soldier Boy is one of the no Norse guns. Okay, yep. Thanks, super chat. Appreciate it. I think this is the final wave here. I don't even need to use magic. Do you think you would ever do a full map clear stream again? Uh, hard to know. I don't know. Uh, quiet did a 5 year super chat. No, you're not into mods that much, but you should give the Nagash mod a try. Give the good content. Yeah, I might cover that on Sunday. Maybe. We'll, we'll see. Thanks to the chat. Appreciate it. Yeah, I kind of don't think these guys are going to get here. <laughs> did he just... <laughs> Ooh! Better get 60 extra armor! Oh, that 60 armor is really going to help you, dude. Oh no, the men are routing. Let's give them more armor. Jack Brown did a two euro super chat, and so ends the God Emperor of Mankind stream. Okay, thanks, dude. Thanks, super chat. Appreciate it. Has this been one of the most popular stream series? Yeah, it's it's about on par with what we did with um the High Elves. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to run up this hill. As soon as he runs up this hill, Hell Blaster Volley guns are waiting for him. Where'd the other one go? 
Yeah, I think that's what happened with him. Oh, better overcast it. <laughs> better get all that extra armor. Overcast it. Yeah, the hell blast of all gun ammo coming in. Welcome to Normandy. I mean, um, Nordland. Jeb Ricketts did a five dollar super chat. This battle is only second to three hours of swooping. Thanks, ladies. I right, know, is it my pleasure? Oh shit, it's there's still more? I thought that was the final wave. I still got ammo. <laughs> like, but... Okay. We still got plenty of ammo. Is that it? Just these last two units? Oh okay, never mind. I need to get a little bit closer. Stupid restricted camera. And <laughs> Nordlandy. <laughs> yeah, welcome to Nordlandy, gentlemen. I can just imagine them screaming, Give us a fucking chance! <laughs> They're like, fuck this. Fuck this. <laughs> I'm going home. <laughs> there we go. Now there is actually nothing left to do. Apart from like sit around and wait for um for Agamis to show up. What happens if you hit end turn? There's a chance that a Rogami will show up. Yeah, the rogue armies can always show up again. You can never truly be rid of them. How to do with last defenders is Kalida. You got it's hard. You gotta have to just fight. You. My God, I can't believe the game fucking crashed. <laughs> what a way to end it. The game crashed. I d I didn't do that. I why would I have done that? The game fucking crashed. What's supposed to do? The game fucking crashed. AI just alt air forward out of it. Defeats one. <laughs> okay, so what they did there makes up for the Colex stuff.
That was the game admitting defeat. I think it was just, just unlucky. Oh, sh the game file might have been corrupted. I don't know if I can load the save file anymore. Oh no! Fighting that battle might have actually corrupted the save file. I'll see if I can load it. Marcus Darkness did two dollars to project that damn Manford pulled the plug. He did it again. Holy shit! Hang on, let me have a look at something. Oh, the save file looks okay. It, it looks okay. It doesn't seem like it's corrupted. Oh no. <laughs> what if what if that last battle there cursed the save file and I can't ever get back into it? Do you know what it might be? The game can't load if there's no other factions on the campaign map. It can't compute. I think if there's no factions left whatsoever, I think this might happen. The game just doesn't expect you to have no no enemies left. So if you want to be able to load your save file after doing a full map completion, I think you need to leave one of the pirates alive. Punish Venom Carousel did a five dollar subject. The only thing that can defeat It's fucked! It's fucked! Oh my god! It's corrupted! It's corrupted! Oh my god! That's not it. I've done full map conquest and it was fine. Yeah, have you done full have you done full map conquest where there is no enemy factions left? We wiped out everyone. I think that's what happened. Because there was no factions left, uh I can't load the save file. This is an actual bug in the hang on. Dog ruler 543 did a $2 subject, press F for the save file, one victory, could take. <laughs> no, I think I think it happened because there are no factions remaining. I can't ever go back into it! I didn't make a backup save file. I, I gotta go back 200 turns! <laughs> Uh, Chrono Sticks did a 20 NOK Super Chat in the end. You beat even the save feature. I think, yeah, I think that if you want to be able to load your save file, you have to leave one faction remaining. You just have to. Is there a mod to fix it? I don't think mods fix this kind of stuff. Uh, Beefy Boy did a five dollar super shit. This happened to me literally yesterday. I think it has to do with the diplomacy. Yeah, because we can't open the diplomacy tab, the game cannot understand you having no enemies left. Jacob Randall did a one dollar. Yep. Well, I can't give you guys the save file, unfortunately, because there's no point. It's completely corrupted. <laughs> We did it. We, we we did full map completion and wiped out every single faction. No defeats. I can't ever look at the campaign again, though. It, I'm locked out of it. It's like... Yeah, we can't load it. I, don't, I, don't, I can't do anything about it. I had no idea this could happen. Um, test it with your higher full map campaign. Uh, There's still quite a few enemies left in that. I, I can't be bothered. Um, Regnia 575 did a two pound subject. Dwarf got the last laugh. Well, I was finished. There's nothing left to do. You know, what are you, you going to do? Uh, load different save. My, my game is fine. All right, we'll load a different save file. I'll load like an earlier save file of the Empire. I, I reckon what it is, is the, um, the save file won't load because there's no factions left. I think that's what it is. I don't think I've ever done full map completion and wiped out everything. I don't think I've ever done it. I think that will be the first time. 
Um, I call 93 to 2 Euro Super Chat at the end, Chaos 1. There was nothing left to do anyway. Try load another save. Oh, okay. I'll load another save. I'll, lo I'll load the, the previous one. So in case you're wondering, why is there two save files here? When you s unite the Empire... Why is that... Whatever, just load this one. Notice how it's changed from Reichland to the Empire? Try to delete one of the other save files. Dude, it's not it. I'm telling you, it's the diplomacy. That's what it is. I'm sure this save file will load. Probably has no command for what to do when there's no enemy armies and hence get stuck trying to compute what to do. And yeah, see, look, it loaded just fine. Oh, I know why this was before the Unite, because I, I made a backup save file here to do that video to showcase how to do the, the cheese. Right, that's why. Right, 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 I remember. But yeah, if I load it from here, watch, it'll crash. You're going to tell us about dealing with Last Defender? Um, no, I was finished. Like, there's no trick to it, you just need to fight your guts out. It's just tough. You just have to fight your guts out. There's, there's no trick to it. You know, it's not like, just recruit this unit and then you'll beat them. You just need to fight your absolute guts out, because you'll probably fight a right of Primeval Glory Army. Might overwrite the new one. It won't. Who asked for the quest battle to be done? Step forward at once. I don't think it, that made any difference. I think that it's just, just that, because there was no factions left, when we came back out of it, it just wiped it out. Look, watch, this will crash. It's, yeah, it's done. Alright guys, well that's the end of the stream anyway. Look, we were going to end it anyway, but... Yeah, okay, so... The thing to take away from this, if you want to be able to load your save file, do you know what? That actually is a good point. Uh, like, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Just let me get back into the game for one, one more sec. Yeah, it's definitely because there's no factions left. Send the save file to CA. No. I've got a, the oldest save file I've got for Mortal Empires. I can't load back into it. Do you know why? Because I wiped out all the factions. Because... There were no rogue armies. This was before pirates were introduced, so I never took them out because they were in the game. Christoph Lutter did a 5 PLN super chat. This bug has actually been in the game for the entirety of Total War Warhammer 2. Look. Abdaman100 did a $10 super chat. Uh, what a better way to send off Warhammer 2 with a bang before Immortal Empires than getting such an overwhelming conquest and world domination that the game can't even process it. Yeah, thanks for the chat, dude. If I go to the earliest campaign I did over here, so this was, uh, 2017, I actually wiped out every single faction. Right? Every single faction. But I can't load this save file anymore. But you know what's funny? Is that I can load this one. I mean, that's, that's a big difference in time. I... I was always able to load every single save file except for this one, and I always wondered why I couldn't load this up. This was the Let's Play that I did for the Dark Elves before I knew what I was doing with Dark Elves. But watch, it's the exact same problem. It's going to crash because there is no factions left. It's only one faction. If there's only you left, if the diplomacy screen gets um, grayed out, the, uh, the game can't load, and it's been in the fucking game. The entire time of Warhammer 2. This was never introduced. This has always been there. But so few people actually go in and wipe out every single faction that it was barely even noticeable. I miss your super chat. Sorry, dude. The chat's going up so fast. There's no way I could have seen it. Uh, Christoph loaded it 5 PLN super chat. I'll just have a look. Yeah, look. See, it crashed again. Same problem. Uh, Billy Bob did a $2 super chat. See, he'd be like, now you have to play Warhammer 3. Okay. Thanks for the chat, dude. Um, sorry I missed it. Yeah. So that's what it is. That's what it is. Um, if you want to be able to load up a save file, you have to leave a faction remain. Um, otherwise, well, you just can't load it. So I'll never be able to get back into that Empire campaign. 
because I, I didn't make any backup save files. But it wasn't for a re long, long time ago that I made a backup save for that. Let me let me just have a quick look. I'm pretty sure that was when we were still like managing the elect accounts. Last time I set up a... Yeah, 18th of July. That was fucking ages ago. And that was when I made that video on the... Um, yeah, 18th of July. I'd have to go back three weeks, pretty much, two or three weeks. It's just, it's, anyway, it's the end of, end of the campaign industry, anyway. Bit of a short one today, guys, but job's done. Um, hope you guys have enjoyed this campaign. I literally can't load up the save file anymore. Um, keep the save file as a trophy. I will, I will keep the save file. But I don't see the point in giving it to you guys. You won't be able to load it. Um, I didn't know about this until today. Can't really do much here. I think you missed a couple of super chat. Okay, sorry if I missed any super chats, but the chat went up so fast that I I couldn't catch them. I do appreciate all the super chats, but yeah, there were just so so much chat going in. Sorry, U Usui VB ninety nine did twenty dollars super chat. No proof is safe for you, stinky boy. All right, thanks dude. Thanks super chat. Yeah, sorry if I missed any super chats, but like usually the chat doesn't go up that fast, so I can catch them. But it's just it just went up way too fast today. Um, anyway, that's the end of this one here, guys. Let's go chuck a host over to somebody. Let's get a big host over to someone. Because we got loads of people here. Bit of a short stream. I honestly thought this was going to take me three hours to do, but, you know, some of the battles were order resolved So, let's see who's streaming Warhammer 2. Let's give him a big host today. No one's streaming Warhammer 2. That I can see. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think anyone's streaming. I think I think most people don't really like to stream, like when I start streaming, because I like <laughs> I take all the all the uh, the traffic, and they wait until afterwards. That way, I send them a um, a host. That's why most that's why a lot of streamers stream like after I stream. I think, um, but yeah, I don't have anyone here to sh to host. There's no one streaming that I can. That I can uh, see. Unless you guys can see someone. I'll have a look through some of my subscriptions. Because sometimes it just doesn't tell you. So a new campaign in the middle of the stream? No, 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 no. No. I, it was always going to be a short stream today anyway. Um, I'm not going to start a new one. We're done. The job's done. I'm, I'm disappointed that uh, I won't be able to load the save file anymore. But, you know, we had nothing left to do. Why don't you use the YouTube raid option? Um... I don't know. I just, I just haven't really learned how to use it yet. I haven't really looked into it. Um, just having a look to see if anyone is streaming. Oh, um, Messi the Mad is going to stream. He's not streaming yet. It live in two hours, right? Right, all right. Um, I can't see anyone streaming right now. Damn offensive messaged. People are streaming. Your system is not updating. Oh, yeah, oh, I'm just trying to find them. I'm just trying to find uh, people who are streaming. You, uh, Radio Nash isn't streaming. Took a break for dinner. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Just l let me know who to to the host. I'll go do it. But I just like my subscriptions only says Linksy streaming. But Linksy's doing this weird thing where he's just like streaming trailers. Okay, you know what? Somebody in my subscriptions is streaming an actual game, but they're not playing Warhammer 2 or 3, or Total Warhammer in general. The only person that's live streaming on YouTube is Jackie Fish. Let's see if we can get Jackie Fish up to a thousand people watching him. How many people have left now? Oh shit, no, oh, man, I've already lost like 2,000 viewers. Crap, I'm not going to be asking that many. Uh, go and check out Jackie Fish. He's currently streaming Bannerlords. Uh, but yeah, people are like leaving en masse here. I, I get it. The stream's over. Uh, get a sub count for Cetra. Okay, let me just uh, give you some information about that. We are at... 3-5... Sorry, 3... Sorry, 4 3 five, seven, four, eight. So you got 252 more to go. Almost there. Seems likely that we'll hit it. It seems likely. I don't think you need to worry about about that. 
unless some, like I said, unless some sort of catastrophe where YouTube deletes like 700 subs, um, we're likely to hit 236. But yeah, go and chuck some support over to Jackie Fish. I don't, I don't usually host him because he doesn't stream Warhammer 2, but there is nobody streaming Warhammer 2 right now. So go and check out uh, Jackie Fish. Um, are you going to upload a save file like the High Elf campaign? No, there's no point because it's corrupted. It's corrupted. The thing, the thing is with the High Elf campaign, there were still factions remaining. I did a full map completion, but there were still pirates out in the sea and there was still the Bjornlings. Um, so we weren't, we weren't a hundred percent finished, but with this empire campaign, you cannot load the save file. It's, it's completely busted. So yeah, just for the last iteration, if you do a full map completion and you wipe out every single faction, including every pirate, every rogue army, you wipe out everything and you quit the game or go into a quest battle or whatever, and just load the game without there being any remaining factions, the game cannot load up. And that's what happened here. Release it so I might figure out a fix. It doesn't matter, the campaign's over. It, it just doesn't matter. Anyway, that's the... Um, if Look, if somebody finds a fix, then email me and I'll apply it. And then we'll see. And if, if I can fix it, then we can send it over to you. Um, but anyway, yeah, go and check out Jackie Fish. I'll put the link in the description again. Uh, I'm going to go get... Well, I don't really need a rest, but uh, I don't have anything else to do today. It's going to be a um, short stream. But yeah, I really appreciate all the support today, guys. I'm going to go take a break. I appreciate all the support throughout the campaign. I'm glad that you guys enjoyed it so much. Um, I don't know what I'm going to be doing on Sunday. But there will be no stream tomorrow. But it is possible that I'll be doing the Nagash mod. You know, i got a couple of days to check it out, and I might do that. Anyway, that's the end of this one. Appreciate you guys, and I'll uh, see you next time, fuckers. Bye.